Hello everyone, welcome to Educate 247. This is the first lecture on MCQ series for government schemes. As you have seen in the previous lecture, the importance of the various government schemes for the RBI Grade B examination, we have started an MCQ series on various government schemes. The first lecture will be on PM Kisan, Urja Suraksha Evam, Uttam Maha Abhiyan. So PM Kusum Yojana. Let us begin. The first question is PM Kusum Yojana is implemented by which of the following ministry? Okay, so the first question asks us that this scheme PM Kusum is implemented by which of the following ministries? Is it Ministry of New and Renewable Energy? Is it Ministry of Rural Development? Is it Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change? Or is it Ministry of Finance? So this scheme that is Kisan Urja Suraksha Evam Uttam Mahabhyam that is the PM Kusum scheme is being implemented by the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy. And this scheme would provide additional income to farmers by giving them the option to sell additional power to the grid through solar power project set up on their land. So, if this is implemented well, PM Kusum scheme can be the ultimate game changer for energy security and the rural economy in India. So, first of all, what is the full form of this scheme? Let us know. So, this is PM Kusum scheme. The full form is Kisan Urja Suraksha Evam Uttan Maha Abhiyan. Okay, so this is the full form of the scheme, and this scheme is implemented by the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy and it is a farmer oriented scheme let us see the next question what are the three components of pm kusum yojana so there are three components in this scheme you have to know all the three components firstly we saw which ministry is implementing it what is what is the objective of the scheme and what are the components will be seen in this question what is the full form of the scheme has been seen. So now let us see what are the components. There are three components. They've specifically, give, specifically given there are three. So we got to know all the three components. What are the three components of PM Kusum Yojana? Component A, 10,000 megawatt of decentralized ground mounted grid connected renewable power plants. Component B, installation of 2 million standalone solar powered agriculture pumps. And component C, solarization of 1.5 million grid connected solar powered agriculture pumps. Options are A, is it either 1 and 2, B, is it 2 and 3, C, is it 1, 2 and 3, and D, is it 1 and 3. So the answer to this question is C. That is all three are the components. One is 10,000 megawatt of decentralized ground mounted grid connected renewable power plants. Component B is 2 million standalone solar powered agriculture pumps and 3 is solarization of 1.5 million grid connected solar powered agriculture pumps. So you got to know all these figures and it aims at creating a decentralized solar power production of 28,250 megawatts. So this is very important. It aims to create an overall capacity of 28,250 megawatts with these three components being the part of the scheme. And this scheme, as I told you, it will help in getting additional income to the farmers by allowing them the option to sell their additional power to the grid connected through solar power projects. What are the objectives of the scheme? Let us see. Promote decentralized solar power production, reduce transmission losses, support the financial health of DISCOMs by reducing the burden of subsidy to agriculture sector, 
provide reliable power to utilize the irrigation potential created by state irrigation departments and fill the voids in the solar power production in intermediate range between rooftop and large parks so now you know the components which ministry implements it what is the full form of this scheme okay so these are some of the question types of questions that may be asked in your exam educate 247 has launched two courses rbi grade b comprehensive course and rbi grade b fm mentorship course you can visit our website www.educate247.com we are providing video lectures where his current affairs which are up to date practice questions and multiple choice question all these are available on our website that is www.educate247.com the next question is which of the following is incorrect about the pm kusum yojana so they might so in order to find out the incorrect statement we have to know all the components of the scheme all the objectives the components the ministry the the target of the scheme the year for which it is implemented so now this question if you know all the statements you can find out easily which is the incorrect one let us see the options it aims at solarizing solarization their grid connected pump set enables farmers to set up solar power generation capacity on their fallow barren agriculture pasture marshy lands installation of standalone solar assistance pumps and implemented by the ministry of new and renewable energy so which of them is incorrect is it option a that is all four are incorrect or is it option b two three four are incorrect is it option c none of them is incorrect and is it option d one and two is incorrect so in this uh, uh, in this question none of the options are wrong all of them are correct this we have seen and now here so you go to option 2 enables farmers to set up solar power generation capacity on their fallow barren agriculture pasture and marshy lands okay so now an amendment has been made to this scheme so the earlier the power plants could be set up only on the barren and the fall on barren and fallow lands now it can be allowed to be set on marshy pasture agriculture barren fallow lands so if they give you the question that enables farmers to set up solar generation capacity on their fallow lands only if only is given it is wrong because it is also on fallow marshy pasture agriculture barren lands and another amendment which is being made is the size of the solar power plant has been reduced to 500 kw in order to allow the small farmers to participate so these are the two recent amendments size of the solar pound has uh, solar power plant has been reduced to this figure which will enable to uh, which will enable all the solar farmer uh, small farmers to participate in the production so you know the overall capacity you know the ministry you know now besides fa uh, fallow and barren lands even marshy and pasture lands are this you also know that it, uh, you also know that uh, this scheme has three components and for a period of five years so all these are the important aspects and components of this scheme we will be having similar lecture lectures on various schemes in our upcoming lectures thank you and happy learning